Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be my update for my Partners in Cream project pan. I am updating a little bit later than the usual um, upload date, but it's because I got behind with that month that I didn't post anything. So my updates from now on are gonna be about a week or so behind the other girls. But um, anyway, I hope you guys still enjoy watching these updates and have really exciting updates with all the products this year, <clears throat> this time around. To remind you guys, I am working on four items at a time and I have really nice progress on all of them. I do have one empty and I'm gonna start with that one. And that is my lip liner from Buxom. This is the uh, Powerline um, Plumping Lip Liner in the color um, Smooth Spice. I Last update, I didn't have much left, but this time around, it's all done. These products don't have much product in it, 0.3 grams or 0.01 ounce. Um, I thankfully haven't had any issues with breakage. Some of you guys have told me that these broke really easily when you guys use them. Now with me, I, I, because you guys had told me that you guys were having issues with these breaking off real easily, I've been super, super careful rolling up just the tiniest bit of amount. I did, I do line my lips completely and I think that's why I'm able to go through uh, these lip liners really, really fast. So not worth for not worth the price definitely not worth full price maybe i would repurchase these again during the 21 days of beauty which is how i bought them to begin with half price but definitely not worth um not worth the full price in my opinion that's the only thing that i finished but like i said the other three items do have exciting products progress so i'm going to start with my mac painterly paint pod and last update I was, I still had a lot of a, a, a huge dip going around. And as you guys can see, I hit pan. If you guys watch, uh, follow me on Instagram, you would have seen the tiniest little pan. I was so excited when I saw that little speck of a pan that I took a picture and I posted it on Instagram. But as you guys can see, since then, I have expanded the pan. I did weigh this. Uh, you guys will be seeing a comparison picture of the weight of this guy. But yeah, I am happy to report that I not only have a hit pan, but can you guys see the product is, kind of coming down there's a lot of like it's pretty low right here this product was full to the top and as you guys can see i have been wearing down um the product from the size as well so not only did i hit pan but i'm really bringing the product down so very happy about this <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna finish it by the end of the year this was my goal to finish it by the end of the year but i don't know guys i don't know then another potted item is this lip balm that I bought when I was on vacation in um, Bratislava. And also, I hit pan or bottom of the container. Uh, and this guy, as you guys can see, I have worn off pretty, a good chunk on the sides as well. It's pretty low and I was able to hit pan. There'll be a comparison picture also to see how much the weight has changed on this guy. But uh, this is my everyday or every night lip balm, I should say. I apply this every time before I go to bed. Um, this is good for everyday type use, not for when your lips are dry and chapped. I, when I got sick, my lips were destroyed and this did not help. I had to switch to an actual lip balm. Uh, but this is nice for when your lips are nice and healthy and hydrated, so that's that. Then last but not least, I have a cream bronzer from Merit. This is the... Um, bronze balm in the color clay and you guys this is all i have left well that's actually um including the plastic if i roll down to where the plastic shows that's how much i have it have left you guys will be seeing a picture comparison um but yeah the reason why i made so much progress on this guy is because i <laughs> have been using it on my neck and on my chest now that you know it's nice and hot outside um i've been wearing a lot of like tank tops and spaghetti straps and things like things like that so instead of bronzing my neck and my chest um with my face with my powder bronzer i'm using this this blends out really really nice it doesn't look patchy um it might be too like high maintenance but i am setting it with a translucent powder so it doesn't uh, create like a like you guys see like my neck wrinkles <laughs> sometimes if I use just a regular powder I'll get like the brown line so to avoid that I am setting it with a powder uh, translucent powder 
Um, it doesn't look bad. I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks pretty natural just because the color is so nice um, and the translucent powder is just translucent. Uh, but I'm glad that I'm able to get so much product progress out of this guy. And if I keep using it like this, this should be done by next update. So um, I kind of stopped using this on my face uh, once I realized how much progress I was making um, using it on my neck and on my chest. So this one has switched from being only used on the face to being used on my body. It doesn't say that it, it can be used as a body bronzer, but um, I mean, why not, right? So those are the four items that I'm working on. Since I did finish one, I am adding a fourth item so I can have my four items. And I am adding my last lip liner from Buxom. This is in the color um, Recharged Ruby. And this is a nice pink color. This is brand new. This is how much product, as you guys can see, it doesn't have a lot of product to begin with. There you have it. And I'm currently working on another one in a different color, which is the color that I'm wearing in another project pan. But I mean, I'm going through these so easily that I don't feel bad for having two of the same in different project pans because I have mentioned to you guys that I don't, I don't like having the same type of product in different project pans because I feel like I'm stealing the attention from one item from another. But since I'm going through so fast through these guys, I don't feel like it'll make um, a huge dent in the progress. Like I'm not gonna lose so much progress if I use both of them alternatingly. I hope that made sense. <laughs> so anyway, that's all I have for you guys for this update for my Partners in Cream. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.